sitting in a bar, and they all ordered drinks, and fl uh, three flies landed in each man's drink, one, one fly in each drink. And the Englishman, he picks the fly out, and he says, it's disgusting, and he demanded another beer. And the Irishman took his out, and he says, oh, it's not too much. He just threw the fly away. The Scotsman takes the fly out, and he goes, spit it out, spit it out, you bugger. <laughs> Some men take the poison while other men abstain. I've no dispute with either, for I've often done the same. There's those that have my sympathy, no matter who they are. Those poor pathetic creatures drinking water at the bar. A man might take a ribbon if he ordered up some tea. Some men shop for whiskey, though it's not the drink for me. I'll take my pint of ale, my boys, no matter who you are. It's not the so peculiar drinking water at the bar. It's then they wouldn't cross the street and never take the tea. Some men take for many fruit. While others hop to brains from the jungle to the pious man who never drinks a jar. There's nothing so peculiar as drinking water at the bar. Oi, oi, well, oi. I can understand a man who be my chance to rob a bank. Or a captain who, for sure neglect, allowed a ship to sink. I can understand an unfortunate man forced to steal a car. There's simply no excuse for drinking water at the bar. There's colas and sodas from the rafters to the floor. There's coffee and cocktails and cordials galore. There's drinks of all descriptions, so though it strikes me as bizarre. Have they no imagination drinking water at the bar?